fam. Super fam. This is our first morning. <laughs> We're up before our journey, before we get started. Journey number one. So we're gonna get some fuel in our body because it's gonna be a long day. Exciting, but long. It is 6.52 a.m. We've been up since six o'clock. Showered, packed our bag for the day. And now we're eating breakfast before we head out. So our, set, our first appointment is at what? I don't know. Seven. Seven. <laughs> so, it might be a little late. But. But well, we getting at it. We getting get at it. it. So, we got a full day plan. We going to a special place today. We're not going to talk about that yet, but it is special. Mm -hmm. We're going to see how my husband like that. Wow. <laughs> an egg sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like this brick. But, okay. So. Y'all get ready, put your seatbelts on, you know. Join us on this little journey, and uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, fam, so here we are at our very first location. It is a massive, massive nursery. <laughs> So let's get going. Gracious. Tommy Atkinson. Jesus Christ, that's a full grown tree. Tommy, all Tommy. Tommy. I don't know what Tommy is. Mm-hmm. We need to look up Tommy. Look it up. So these, that's all of them? Oh, they got some more over here. Seven gallons. But they're all Tommy's, right? Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that's a nice size tree. Tommy Atkins Mango. Give us a minute. We're going to do some research and see what they are. <laughs> Green is not quite ready. Red is excellent. Beautiful mix of yellow. Mm -hmm. Low fiber. Mildly sweet taste. It's smiley. Mm -hmm. Man, it looks so big though. I yeah. think we should get one anyway. I would get one. Seven down. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Try to figure which one to be the best way to get. Uh, yeah, let's let's get this one. Yeah. Oh, they got star fruit too. You know, they got a name on them. Damn. Shit. 
get these shits is not gonna fit in the car. Hey babe, you seen this uh, Barbados? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Baby, you gonna do that black elephant here? Oh. How much are these black ones over here? Oh, really? <laughs> Look at this thing here. How much is that? What? Oh, thirty five. Thirty five. These thirty five here? No. How much are those? 35. 35. Okay. And what about these um black you wanna get a black one? Which one? That one. She wanted that one, that second one. <laughs> and you get one of those very good ones, right? Pick, pick which one you want.
Alright fam, so this was our very first stop. Now, we believe that this was a little too much cargo on the very first stop to have in the truck, knowing that we had a full day. So we decided to head back to the hotel room, about 20, 30 minutes away to unload. Although y'all saw a lot going on with this mystery, believe me, I did not see it all. There was a lot more that we did not show, but we had a schedule to keep. Bam, to the customized building, I want to give y'all a little look of some of the stuff we see. This is Wisteria right on the side of the road. There were bars of banana trees. I mean, it was all kind of <laughs> magnificent stuff. Look at these avocados, fish fields, and fields of them. So, you know, this whole town, this whole place was sites like this. It was um, extraordinary to see. You um, must check this out. What's up, soil brothers and soil sisters? Yo, woo, it's been a long 25 years <laughs> for my husband. My husband has wanted to visit this very place for at least 25 years. Well, guess what? He can mark it off his bucket list because guess where we are today? Y'all know this man going bananas? Check it out. So, let's go inside. Let's take him inside so he can go bananas in here. We gonna take y'all with us. Let's go. Fam, let me tell you, it's been a long, long time coming, but I finally made it. And man, it's been an excellent, excellent experience. I met Don, the owner of Going Bananas, great guy. He gave us a tour. He let us taste some of these wonderful bananas that he grew. And everything looked and felt so right. Oh my you know? God, it's beautiful. Cause man, I mean, <laughs> it's been 20, 25 years. I've been talking about coming down here to visit and I finally made it. And it was all and more that I, you know, yeah. expected. So unfortunately, I'm so, I'm so excited that I had the chance to come. You know, Don wasn't comfortable with the filming, yeah. which was perfectly fine. You know, you want to respect the, you know, the privacy and the comfort of the places and people that you talk to. So it was perfectly fine. I wish y'all could have came along, yeah. but unfortunately it wasn't in the cars. Hey, if you are interested, y'all need to come down here and check them out. Make an appointment. Yeah, you, you must have to make an appointment. Yes, because they are being safe and they have a lot going on. Yeah. So they want to make sure that they're available whenever somebody comes. Yeah, it, so. it was a wonderful experience to see not just bananas, but so many plants and taking care of, I mean, excellent. So it's great. It's a great feeling to be able to bring my husband here finally and knock this one off his bucket list. But hey, this is a yearly thing for us. So we're going to definitely stay in contact with growing, growing bananas mm -hmm. and visit them every year we come down. We'll make our appointment and it's worth it, y'all. If you love growing bananas, 
This is definitely a must see. We gonna talk about it, but we just can't show you. So. <laughs> yeah, well, I, think, I think we definitely made, you know, a good friend, you know, somebody yeah. that, you know, can teach me, us, a lot about growing bananas and many other things. He yeah, have lychee, he got mangoes, mysteria, everything. He, I mean, he growing it all, but bananas is his main thing. So we love the fact that he's, he's embraced us and took us on this tour. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm gonna say bye from now, but let's keep it moving, babe. Just riding down the road, you see stuff like this. Fields and fields of Logan trees. I mean, I'm telling you, these things were loaded. Loaded with Logan. And there were so many sites just like this. I mean, all kind of fruit trees everywhere. And so, you know, we're like bobblehead dogs, you know. I'm sure the locals were pissed because we had to make sure <laughs> We was getting all this in, that we could see all this. There wasn't no riding real fast past all this. But, you know, we love this stuff. We love the growing. We love the fact that they can grow all these extraordinary fruit with probably little effort. So. All right, what's up, Soil Fam? So now we are at the famous Robert is here. Historic Redland Tropical Trail. They got a whole sign telling you where to go. Get your fruit, smoothies, Cuban sandwiches. We are here. Robert is here. So check out all these places. Most of the jungle. This, look, Everglades, alligator farm. This is, um, like, headed out to Key West, Florida. One of these things. This one, dude. Uh, this one. That's the one you smell. Oh yeah. 
They're all different cans, look like. They look how close these things are. You know, versus these. Two dollars and ninety-five cents per pound. That shit was probably fifty pounds. <laughs> I can even move it. Because I was going home and take a picture with it. But... <laughs> <laughs> Do this. Uncle Bobby B, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four dollars a pound. The white dollars per pound. This is uh, tamarind. Can you believe it? $16 per pound? <laughs> Jesus. Uh-oh, baby. Cheremonia. We have to, $12 a pound. Cheremonia. Sugar apple. You see the difference? Cheremonia. Sugar apple. Cheremonia. Sugar apple. The ceremony got more of a smooth finish. Mm -hmm. And this yes. is more like bumping. Yes. It's a difference. It's a difference. That's a big sexy sugar apple. apple. <laughs> What they gotta say? Keep, keep, keep. No. These prices are high.
So fam, this next nursery we went to was a very nice nursery, you know, it was um lined when you come in with Logan trees that were completely loaded with Logan's. You know, they had about all the varieties that I wanted. The only problem was that a lot of them were new graphs and I did not want to purchase a mango that had extremely new grass because they can fail up to a certain point. So, you know, and plus, you know, they were just a little bit pricey. Not pricey for what me and you probably can normally bound for, but for the area, I think it was a little pricey. So fam, so you can see that this is a very nice nursery, uh, well kept up, you know, well put together, but you know, you can see that there are some um, mangoes that's pretty new with the grafting, but also like here you can see that there are some pretty nice sized mangoes, some well established ones, it's just the ones that were more established were not the varieties I was looking for. You know, uh, not the gourmet varieties or something I already picked up, you know, at a previous location. How much um cocktail? <laughs> so fam, let me explain cocktail to you. We have purchased cocktail on two other occasions, and both times they almost immediately died once getting to our property. So I decided I'm gonna try it again. I did try it again. At least I know next year it should do something though. of mango, lychee, um, star fruit, uh, bananas, you name it, they got it pretty much because I've seen some of everything, mulberry. <laughs> 
I can stand in all day. So y'all check them out. Beautiful place. So they do have miracle berries, but they do have miracle berries. But they're the bigger ones, right? Yep, they're in a bigger pot. And they got so I'm just saying, they have miracle berry here. Um they have some of everything here, y'all. Jack dwarf jack fruit so they don't get very big so this is the thing you know you want dwarf plants that don't get huge that way you can grow them in a pot bring them in a the house in the winter so check out everglades farm nursery here in homestead florida or really somewhere in <laughs> <laughs> are y'all at homestead homestead okay. homestead florida <laughs> all right y'all so this is what it's like when you buy the third mango it's going to make it this time, look. So when you get ready to take it across state lines, you say, it's okay, it's okay. We're going to go home, okay? It's okay. We're going to spend a couple days in Florida, and then we're going to go home, okay? So stay alive. It's okay. <laughs> So it's like the shampoo ginger? It's like that. I don't know what it is. So you know what I'm doing. So bad. This nursery here, which was the next one we went to, I cannot the life of me think of the name of it. And I didn't get it recorded, but we come here every time we come. This was a nursery we found the first time we came down south and it never fails there's always something here that we have never seen before so we always purchased something from this nursery and generally it's something that we didn't come for but it's something that caught our eye and that we just had to have because we haven't seen it before of course we do a little research on it to find out some of the ins and outs of it before we pick it up and take it home. And uh, we, are, we are always impressed with this nursery. Little mangoes back there. Look at this thing here in the pot. It's actually, this thing got an avocado in the pot. There's avocado fruiting in the pot. <laughs> it's hot and I'm tired. What's up, fam? So, it is 3 o'clock in the evening. 3 p.m. We started at 6 a.m. 6 a.m., yeah. So, it's been a day already. Um, Caught two kilos later. Yeah, we already dropped off some stuff and as you can see, we are running out of room. And we are not headed home yet. Nope. But well, we are headed to the hotel in a few minutes after I go past this nursery. <laughs> I'm afraid to even stop. I want to go to this nursery because I hear a lot about it. However, I'm afraid to stop here. So maybe I'll just ride through. Yeah. Hold up, baby. <laughs> let's just ride through and see what we see. Yeah. Let's just do that. <laughs> and not get out because yeah let's see how good that work this is another nursery <laughs> i might be hungry just a little bit wait a minute are we on the wrong road or something yeah i think the nursery is over there but then again the sign was over here it could be just that big you gotta go way down there to come back up so y'all this is this is redland florida it's nothing here but Tropical yeah. nurseries. It's nothing but. Oh. I ain't gonna even say gardening because it's all, it's all nurseries. They uh, nurseries that you can go in and purchase stuff is 
nurseries that grow plants that ships them all over the country um, and there's nothing else I mean It was crazy when we went to going bananas, which was absolutely amazing. But I said, "Man, it's 88 degrees. It's nice here, out here." If you haven't never, if you ain't ever, okay, there you go. Why did I say that? Because as soon as I said it was nice, all hell broke loose. Now, it's if hot. you, I never been to, uh, I guess, a foreign country where it was tropical. Lots of water. Dang. So I said I was. Are just we going, supposed to drive in? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna find out in a minute. The baby will be like, oh, what the hell y'all doing? Because there ain't no parking space. I mean, so we supposed to park on the road? Well, I'm just turning around. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. All right. I think we're gonna turn around and leave. This, this is a um a nursery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we sell fruit trees. Mango, lychee, long man. Mm. We're looking for something specific. Mango. What um what kind of prices y'all got on your mangoes? Uh, different sizes. Three gallon, thirty five, uh, seven, seventy, fifteen, wow. one twenty five. Y'all got y'all got a good selection of mangoes. No. Towards the end of the year, so a lot of the good stuff when we went out in spring. Right. But there's some stuff still there. Like sweet tart? So we don't sell the new varieties. Oh, okay. okay. We mainly do like, you know, Kerry, Valencia. Mm. And okay, okay. That makes sense. Did you guys want to do some uh, shopping? Alright, follow me. We're gonna get you to drive around. The yeah, place. that's what we were trying. I was like, at first I thought we were lost, but yeah. Okay. Let me back up. And we'll you about to shop? Okay. Hmm? We just go ride around with them. I'll put you to where the uh, parking spot are and then the office will we'll get somebody to help you. Okay. We just tell me no more. Oh. He said, never mind. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go out. Okay. I'm just gonna do a tour of it. You still recording? Yep. See y'all, she's trying to get us in trouble. No, I was not. Yeah. I was gonna take y'all on the tour. And yeah, then we would have saw something else we wanted. That would have been the bad part about it. But I, <laughs> I have self-control. I would have just been like, no. <laughs> we just looking. <laughs> but they got too much stuff here. Yes, this place is humongous. I had a, I had a bunch of questions, but yeah, I didn't want, I didn't want to ask them for real. Because honestly, we still have another stop for trees on Sunday. Yeah. So How they gonna work out for you? I do not know because <laughs> it's not looking pretty bad there. And remember, this load is just going to the hotel. Yeah, we still got stuff already in the hotel. How you going to get this thing going? Mm -hmm. They got a room of their own, so they good. You know, we just got to get them up there. Yeah. Ooh. It's going to be Whoa. a problem, I think. <laughs> so we'll see, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead, head back, maybe drop these off, get us little something maybe to eat yeah. today is friday by the way yeah so we're gonna go ahead and rest just a minute then we're gonna come on and talk to our sawyer fam 7 p.m yes. eastern standard time every friday have your drink wine whatever hell heffy water juice tea you know sip and chat <laughs> all right guys so oh. we'll be right back i gotta figure out how to get back to the hotel I got a bad man too. 
Guys, we made it back to the hotel with our second load of plants. We, we all made it safe and sound. Not a broken limb, not a hurt feeling, or nothing. So we got them all settled in. And we're happy. That's it for now. We're going to feed our face. We're going to relax just a little bit. And we'll get back with you. <laughs> so fam, we went and got us something to eat. We did our live when we talked to y'all for flowers. And um, we went in and turned in because we knew tomorrow was going to be another big day. So here, we have a breakfast and we are on our way to Miami Beach. Yes, we was looking forward to our trip to the beach. We didn't know when, but we knew we were going to do it. So guys, while on the way to the beach, we noticed that the skyline was extremely beautiful. And I wanted to capture what we were seeing you know um the way the buildings contrast to the sky to me was extremely beautiful um i don't know if i actually caught captured that you know on film i don't think it do it justice you know we don't get to see you know that kind of skyline every day because our city don't have buildings that tall so when we get to see something we don't get to see on the regular we definitely want to catch it and it's for us and for you know other people who live in towns such as ours where the buildings aren't that way it's something unusual and i think it's a great thing to see We made it to the beach guys and it was absolutely beautiful this was a whole new experience because we were able to get down there at a time of day where the hustle and bustle of the city has not started yet so we got to take in all the unusual trees unusual to us the palm trees whatever this tree is <laughs> I mean it, it was absolutely beautiful the temperature was great the sunrise was magnificent we were so anxious to get down there and sit by the water and just enjoy the peace and the scenery of being on the ocean so guys as most of y'all know once we got down on the beach we went live so y'all was able to uh enjoy the beach with us you know the sounds of the ocean crashing you know just the peace tranquility of 
you know, being on the water without all the hustle and bustle. So if you missed that, go back and check out that live. It is a nice time. So, after having an uh, amazing time at the beach, we headed on back to the room so we can get dressed and start the next phase of our trip. And we were able to catch some amazing sights like these humongous cruise ships. And, um, that is not something you see every day where I'm from. <laughs> Even though I have been on a lot of cruises and I love them. Yeah, just seeing them parked in the bay or wherever they at, just for nothing. <laughs> it's not something that's common to me, so I definitely enjoy the chance of seeing that. Yeah, wow and awe of the size of the that boat. These hedges caught our eye. Those are pineapple water <laughs> that's lining the highway. That is crazy. You know, um, we recognize them almost immediately. Not the ones on that side, but the ones in the middle. So uh, they just kind of just grow them out there. The decoration. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I was being a whole tourist. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm not the only one that think that is you know, kind of amazing just to see them big old ships sitting right there looking like that. You know, I'd have been on a couple of them, but just to see them sitting there, I don't know. It's not something that's real common. So, of course, I was amazed at it. And hope I ain't being weird. My family and all of us for putting it in the video. So guys, we got back to the hotel. We watched the beach, beach off us. And we got back at it. So this next nursery. Very nice nursery. Beautiful. Uh, well put together. You know, it didn't have a lot of what we were actually looking for. But had some excellent, beautiful plants on this place. So... You know, we definitely want to show y'all a little of this just because it's something that we did. And uh, we definitely want y'all to have this experience with us. So, here we go. So fam, as you can see, this nursery had a huge variety, a lot of beautiful plants, you know, nice foliage, beautiful uh, blooms, but you know, that's not necessarily what I was in the market for. And my space was limited, so 
cannot do anything with any of these plants, you know. So this was, you know, a trip that was pretty much dedicated to mangoes and bananas. And of course I buried away from that somewhat. But I did not have the space to indulge in some of the other plants that was a little tempting, but you know, wanting nothing to eat. <laughs> so therefore it was not something that was really desired at this particular point. Before we leave this nursery, y'all take one more good look at how beautiful, how well put together this particular nursery is. I mean, this is absolutely uh, beautiful. You know, it had to be <laughs> a designer that actually put this together because it is so pleasing to the eye. And I mean, I can't see nobody actually seeing this place and not going wow. Uh, Alright fam, so the next nursery was at Laura Farm. We did a whole video just on Laura Farm. Just amazing. Where we showed a lot of the fruit that he grow, not all of them, not even close to all of them. We were able to try a lot of different fruit that we never tasted before. Chocolate. Y'all must pudding. go watch that video from Laura Farm. It was simply These amazing. Are super we healthy, y'all. I mean, super, super healthy. Like my that? wife said, uh, uh, the trees <laughs> that he was selling was uh, simply amazing. They were very healthy. I purchased as many as I thought I could get home, and I wanted more. It tastes just like sweet potato. But I'll be back. So that's what the inside look like, y'all. And this one is called Mame Americano. Mame Americano. Being that it was um. It, wow, it don't seem juicy. It's almost I wouldn't like think it would be good. Oh, but it tastes so good. <laughs> it's juicy, but it don't drip. Right. Wow. We need this. <laughs> you have more fruit. And these are mm. my farmers. Mm. You know, they don't want to do nothing. Wow. Wow. This one. Yeah. That is so good. Better you gotta try it. You gotta try it. You that low plant? And it's not really that ripe yet. It's no, no, ripe. it's not at, at its point. It needs maybe two, mm. two, three more days. And what will happen different? Sweeter. Really? Exactly. All softer. Fruits, mm. All fruits get, get mm. softer and mm. sweeter. It's perfect. Mm. It's a great fruit. I can imagine that. Do you better. sell the, the tree? We do. Mm. Yeah, but they, oh, oh, people show you all kinds of trees. All over but he specializes in selling you grafted trees, right. mm. and, yeah. and that's his specialty. That he doesn't do anything but grafted. Okay. So I bought a ton of big trees from him, like right. bigger, bigger than those there. You know? I was selling them, and they're healthy. They're at home now. Yes, yes. We went around and we looked. This is this is the tree mom sees. Now he just. I, I bought a tree from him, but it just didn't grow. It's it's a very hard tree to grow. You crack it like this. Mm -hmm. And then you open it up like an egg. Right. Woo, look at that inside. Right. This is fantastic. And then you pop it in your mouth. This is bigger than normal. This is bigger than normal. Sometimes you get dry ones. Mm. Now comes the seed. Mm. I love this stuff. Mm. Mm. Fruit vendors sell them in, in Miami. Mm -hmm. In the streets. Mm -hmm. wow. wow, that is crazy. 
So guys, Lower Farm was a perfect place to end our day on Saturday and to end our Miami trip. So at that point, we went back to the hotel, offloaded a ton of plants that we purchased. A lot of them from Lower Farm because the quality of the plants were just excellent. We went and got us something to eat, came back, you know, see my wife, she's here. Uh, get this jackfruit ready. You know, we went in and got some bags, some freezer bags, and tore the pot. Got it ready to ship back to the house with us. And uh, we got ready for bed for the next day. So we were planning on getting on the road early the next morning. Of course, we could not leave Florida without making a stop to snails and garden. So we went in and got us some rest. Get rid of it. Got got it off your early the next morning and was on our way. Yeah, that's it. That's hopefully gonna get uh, get a little bit bigger, and then I'll have to trim it. But I'm gonna let it get like another two feet tall in this pot, and then I'll trim it. Yeah, your star fruit doing good over there. This I see. is cool. So this is the yellow Jamaican cherry. Really? Yeah, I just got it to. It's it's like doing its thing. Does it grow like as fast as the Yeah. Does it taste as good? Uh, yeah. It tastes, tastes really good. It tastes a little different, but the same. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Like a good one's a good one, you know? Mm -hmm. I saw that yellow one. Oh yeah, that's a streak and banging. This is yeah. yeah. It's not gonna they're not gonna be as big as they were last time. What's those ones back there? Um those are Carrie. Carrie? Okay. Yeah, K-A-R-I. Yeah, Carrie's been holding those fruit I mean I don't know what's up with that tree it used to fruit a lot and then it stopped for like a year so I don't know and then this tree I had to cut this graft off um, something was going on with this graft but you can see some of these grafts aren't even that good like they're jankety looking and they're on there but they think yeah they're on there so that's what I'm saying like this graft looks good this graft looks really good right What's, here. what kind of the, what you got grafted on so this is Bradenton mm -hmm. I don't know what this is, but I really like the fruit. It's very orange and small. Mm -hmm. It could just be some common variety that I don't know about, but this I also don't know. This came from uh, the same property that I don't know. And then this came from, I was on my way to someone's place, and there's the graph, right? Yeah, there's the graph. I put it in between here. So eventually, you know, this rootstock's gonna grow out of there and I'll just remove that. But mm -hmm. sometimes I like to keep leaves at the bottom of grass. I don't know why, but I see people doing it. And then this is Oliver. Mm -hmm. This is Oliver. This is a common variety. This is uh, Yehuda. I put a Y on it for that. And then, yeah, Bradenton. Those three are pretty popular, but I have no idea what variety this is. So what's the best variety for you? Um, um, uh, probably Bradenton's most productive for me and it tastes really good. I also really like a good uh, champagne and a good cherry and a good, like I like them all. Mm. The cherry's good because it's clusters of fruit and it's yellow fruit right? Um, without spiciness. Some people like champagne because it's got the spiciness. But the Oliver is good. It's just like, I don't know, it doesn't produce the best for me in pots. It does produce, but the fruit doesn't get as big as it could. Somebody mm -hmm. tried to tell us that the... Um What's that one we got with the bell? Tastes better than streaky bacon. And we tried it. No. Bell's good. It don't taste nearly as good it's as like, to uh, me. It's a clean star fruit, I guess. Like, it's like a plain. Yeah. Streaky bacon kind of has, like, here, let's see. I mean, it has more of a content, complex not flavor. Yeah. This is not. It's, a, it's a good flavor. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I'm so cute. I'm nice. <laughs> yeah. It's a good flavor. Um, it could have stayed on there longer. Like, mm -hmm. you remember I was telling you, when you cut this off, mm -hmm. this green right here, mm -hmm. it kind of takes away that, like, flavor. But I eat this. It's good. It tastes way better than Bell. And, um... And, you know, like I we said... We ain't tried to carry it. Yeah, Fung Tongue. We tried Fung Tongue. Fung Tongue ain't... Fung Tongue is great. And it ain't tasting nearly as good as this. Yeah, Fung Tongue is really And good. we tried it in different, um, stages of ripeness. But yeah, I like those. Those are really good. Those are really good. Yeah. 
It tastes like what I think star fruit mostly tastes like. Mm -hmm. You have a golden nugget Jackson. I have a golden nugget. So guys, we met up with Snails, you know, he took us to school like he usually do, teaching us about all these amazing plants that he grow, things that we had no idea about, and every time we go there, we learn something new, a lot of things new. As you can see, we got to try the star fruit again, and I got a few plants from him. And he also gave us some plants for a giveaway for the Sawyer family for our one year anniversary. So we were so thankful for our snails. So fam, it was a little bit tricky, but it got done. I got all of my plants in the vehicle, which is no surprise because they were going to get in there one way or the other. I invested too much in getting them so they were coming home with me Lee, Lee. <laughs> but it wasn't easy and we got it done all right fam so we have made it back to the homestead now it's time to unpack hopefully unpacking is gonna be a lot easier than it was packing but it got to be done so Alright guys, so y'all can see as I am putting the plants down, I am putting most of them in some trays. We purchased those in order to retain some of the water and to keep our plants moist. So I'm trying to put one under each one of the mangoes so that they are always watered and when they're not, we can tell. fam so I got everything unloaded I'll be lying if I said I wasn't a little worried that you know the traveling the way they were I was gonna have some issues but I am surprised pleasantly that everything made it fine yeah it could have been better 
but it could have been so much worse. Um, nothing broke, just a little distorted a little bit, but I'm sure they all will bounce back and be great. So, whew. all right, fam. So one thing I did not think about before going on vacation was my banana plant that broke that had some um, somewhat undeveloped bananas but they were developed enough so as you can see <laughs> they have ripened and past ripened in some cases um, some of these bananas they do okay once they turn black um, so guys so even though they're a little dark looking a lot of these bananas actually taste way better like that, okay? See how thin the peel is on these? Wow, so absolutely perfect. I think a day or two more would have been too much. Mm. Mm, so good like they're so sweet guys I mean but it's only so many of them I can eat and all I can do is uh, take these all in the house peel them put them in the freezer and we can make smoothies out of them so I'm grateful that we got back just in time so we can actually enjoy these mm, but I got some work to do so Alright guys, we have a million and one things to do on the homestead before we can call it a night. Okay, there's so many things we haven't seen in a few days and we have to lay eyes on them. Make sure everything is the way it needs to be. Even though we have an excellent homestead sitter, you know, this is what we do on a regular basis so nobody could do it like we can. So we just got to make sure everything is in place and everybody's taken care of. So we can um, settle down for the night. But with that said, guys, thanks for joining us. Till the next time, guys. Peace.